We're your ride to Drom and Cass. How long until we reach the planet? Shouldn't be more than a day. Bellus discovered that the Separatists have the ZR-57 secured inside their supply outpost on Manip Point, a small island just off the coast. You must be the freighter Captain Vidu's expecting. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. I'm Sirena. Identity confirmed. Good day. I'm Advanced Protocol Unit NRO2. My functions are diplomacy, translation, manslaughter. My name is Rikus Kilman. I'm commander of the Fifth Fleet, second to the Minister of War, and my personal favorite, the so-called Butcher of Coruscant. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. I'm sure there's some way we can reach a compromise. Come now. I think it's obvious I'm not here for friendly diplomacy. Surely our spies would have discovered any Imperial involvement on Ord Mantell long before now. It's comforting to know a confident man like you is taking care of things. I feel safer already. I suppose I shouldn't keep you any longer. Vidu might get the wrong idea about us. Back already, Captain. Uh, help me and Corso finish this robe of steak. Don't let this fine cut of meat go to waste. Boss, quit acting like it's your last meal. Rogue and the Butcher isn't gonna kill you. You planning to eat and drink yourself to death, fat man? I'm being practical. If things don't work out, at least I won't die on an empty stomach. Nice work, Intolerant. We're getting somewhere in this hunt for Skavik. Ricky told me he gave you a way into the Separatist hideout. Said something about a secret entrance? I always wondered how Ricky could steal so much from Manit Point and not get caught. Getting into Manit Point will be extra tricky. For one thing, you have to swim there. When the Separatists invaded, they blew up the only bridge leading onto the island. Turned it into their private resort. You'll be walking into the Ranker's Den, Captain. Maybe I'll get lucky and find Skavik wandering around. I doubt he'll be that easy to find, and I don't recommend asking for him door to door. If you download the Separatist computer files onto this datapad and bring it back here, we'll handle the rest. I'd rather go with you, Captain. My Vira Blade's pretty good for chopping Separatists off at the knees. I call it Huey. Forget about the Separatist, Corso. I want that slicer kit here before the Captain comes back. I'm on it, boss. Good luck at Man at Point, Captain. Last thing I need is Corso turning one-man army out there. Kid'll just get himself killed for nothing. Separatists wiped out his family a couple of years ago. Corso took it personal. I don't blame him for wanting revenge. Mixing personal grudges in business is like dropping a thermal detonator into a fuel dump. Vidu, there's someone named Rogan calling on the Holo. He sounds upset. Oh, that's all I need. Uh, stall him for me, sweetheart. Remember the plan. Disrupt Manit Point's power relays, get inside Reiki's old home, and use those schematics to enter the Separatist base. When you're in, slice into the Separatist computer and download everything onto my datapad. Good luck. There has to be a less boring way to do this. Soldier? How did you get in here? The ZR-57. Tell me where it is. Now! I'll tell you nothing, Republic scum! The glorious Separatist movement will never submit to your decadent so-called Republic. Hmm. No bomb. That's right. We're three steps ahead of you. Three hundred steps ahead. The Separatist movement is an unstoppable force, driven by the will of the people. Enough. Kill him? Follow your lead, Wraith. The, the Glorious! You don't... You don't scare me! I... Ah! Wait! Wait! The bomb! They moved it! They, they moved it! My Commander Keen, he... We took the bomb down to the coast and loaded it onto a sea speeder. I don't know where it was taken after that. Extensive security. Why? It's because, well, Safro, Viru, and Bowl are here. Three of our greatest heroes who led us in our glorious... They're, uh, 
They're officers, cell commanders. They run operations in different parts of a villa town. They're having a conference, relocating men to different cells. They're... They're dead, Sergeant. Maybe taking out these officers will actually be challenging. Saffro, Varu, and Bull are priority one targets, Sergeant. And recovering their data on separatist cell locations and manpower is too good an opportunity to pass up. That data will be critical to learning the bomb's movements before it's too late. You have your orders. Get the data. Kill the officers. Set, men. This is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir! No, sir! We aren't fighting alone. An experienced volunteer is going to help us. The imps won't stand a chance. My lightsaber is at your service, Commander. Do you hear that, man? Our friend here is gonna chop through these imps like nothing. The imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. Victory or nothing. Yes, victory! We've done it, man! We've done it! The ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... That isn't the case. That Imperial said you're the one that they were sent to capture. Listen, that's not important right now. We have a serious problem. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. We defeated the first group of boarders. There's no reason we can't defeat this group too. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. We have to stop the Imperials from gaining control of the ship. That's why I rushed to find you. Something has to be done. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Confronting the Empire for the sake of diplomacy takes a lot of courage. I'm no hero. I just show them an alternative to Imperial control. But we can talk about my work later. We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. Security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salem might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salem before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Enemy is firing! Turbo lasers, missiles, and what looks like transport pods. I'm not sure. The pods are a distraction. Return fire. Aim for their power generators. So long as they're damaged and we're not, we have the advantage. Lieutenant. Captain Silas, sir. Engineering is reporting blaster fire. They just cut out. Continue the assault. I'll deal with this. I'll notify security. And don't worry. We won't let those Republic scum get away. Come on, Force, and say it just like I taught you. The Republic lackeys will drown in lakes of fire and blood, Master. Death to all who oppose the people's will, Master. Hey there. Uh, we had some trouble with the power relays. I need to check on the computer core. You mind? Master, I detect the presence of several non-functioning humans, specifically the bodies over there. Setting alert status red. By the stars! Republic troops have invaded our base! Oh no! Force and activate combat protocols. We gotta warn the others. Master, my sensors detect no evidence of hostile forces. But that doesn't make sense! When was the last time you calibrated that droid's sensors? Not recently enough to take any chances. We need to put the base on alert and rally the men. Here, comrade. If you see any Republic lackeys, use this on them. Let's go, Forsen. There's no time to waste! I'm telling you, I heard blaster fire! I think we've been compromised! There! Intruder! Ball! 
Call for backup, now! In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Zafro, wipe the data! We can't let it fall into enemy hands! She's one soldier, Bull! Kill her! Sergeant, you've returned. Well, masterful work eliminating the Separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officers' data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you, Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village, seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. Is it normal for villagers to get radiation poisoning, sir? Not at all. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. You'll have everything Zack knows, sir. Believe me. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and a list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Hit the scavenger camp, retrieve the ingredients to cure Zack's radiation poisoning. Understood. Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. Leave me alone, Bracco. If Vito knew about this, he'd... Vito? That blob can't even protect himself. It's only a matter of time before Rogan the Butcher punches your fat meal ticket for good. You better start thinking about the future, girl. When vidu has gone, you'll need new friends. Captain! Thank goodness. I could use your help here. Rattle down, boys. Word is, Rogan the Butcher has his eye on Serena. That's right, Bracco. You don't want to get on Rogan's bad side. He's already scoping on his future trophies, huh? Figures. It just proves Vito ain't long for this world. Let's go, guys. Thanks for stepping in, Captain. I was so frightened. Luckily, those boys are pretty gullible. Bluff? <laughs> it's closer to the truth than I want to admit. What Bracco said was true. Rogan the Butcher will kill Vidu if those blasters don't turn up. Vidu can't protect me anymore. He's not half the man you are. Well, let's find a nice, quiet spot to talk about that. I can't do that to Vidu right now. Maybe when the danger has passed. I should go. Vidu's waiting for you. I won't forget your kindness, Captain. Farewell for now. Finally! I thought you'd never get back. Tell me you've got those Separatist files. Some of your goons just went after your girl, Vidu. Word must be getting out we're in trouble. The warehouse boys smell blood in the water. Want me to knuckle down on the staff, boss? Just keep an eye on them. If those idiots make another move against me, we'll clean house. You did good, Captain. Corsa found us a terrific little slicer kit, so we're ready to decrypt that data. We'll know where to find Skavik soon, but until then, I've got a special job that only you can do. Until I get my ship back, my schedule's pretty open. I have an exciting opportunity for us to all stay alive. I need you to keep Rogan the Butcher off our backs. Sirena stalled him earlier, but it's not enough. We need to distract Rogan by giving him something he really wants. A canister of some special chemicals from a nearby village. The big boom run? Are you kidding, boss? I can see it making Rogan's day, but it's blasted risky. Can't be any worse than a hut's kitchen. You don't understand. Folks lose their arms and legs on this job. Heads, too. There's a loopy scientist with a chemical that can supercharge artillery cannons, makes them do more damage. But it's less stable than a drunk savrip on a speeder bike. Handle it wrong, and suddenly you're little chunks of ex-captain. 
Sure, it's tricky, but you've got the skill to get it here. Did I mention this run pays unbelievably well? Just how unbelievably well are we talking about? You do this, and you can buy some nice upgrades for your starship, when you finally get it back. Trimbo is the scientist's name. Got a place in Oradam Village. I'll let him know you're coming. See me before you make that run, Captain. We should talk. Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's cut for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it Flashy. Flashy can bullseye Saver between the eyes five times before the critter even knows it's dead. Here, take it. If I take this, what'll you use in a fight? I can take care of business just fine with Huey here. Best of luck, Captain. Don't get killed, all right? Damage reports from all decks. We're holding together, sir, but I don't know for how long. Make sure it's long enough, Ensign. Your life and career are at stake. Please stand alert. Grand Moff Gilrand's representative has returned. Congratulations, my lord. Security reports that the sabotage droids have been destroyed. I don't need your praise, Lieutenant. Only your obedience. Yes, yes, of course. We've penetrated the Brental Star's outer defenses. Their next assault won't come until we enter fighter range. Another minute, maybe two. Transmission coming in. Long range. It's a message, but it's not from the Brental Star. Put it through, Ensign. This is Jedi Grandmaster Satil Shan hailing unidentified Imperial vessel. I'm en route to your location with 16 Republic vessels. I'm asking you to retreat before more lives are lost. Disregard the transmission. Continue closing on the Brentel Star. Understood. Maintaining course and speed. Whoa. You're a Jedi. Chief. Hey, Chief. Look, there's a Jedi out there. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have sealed it off. The Imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed too. Are you going to be safe in there? Do you need help getting out? Getting the bridge back in our control is much more important. Now let's see. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else can we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduits shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths. Not when there's an alternative. Fine. But you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. We're trying to save the people on this ship, not kill them. Fine. Who am I to argue? You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. You... you're a soldier, right? From the fort? Please help us. We're really sick. My wife is dying. Forget it. Uh, I'll be fine, Zack. Just get that soldier out of here. No, Jawler. Please, soldier. The medic's at the fort. I talked to them earlier. Please, tell them to send help. When did your symptoms begin, sir? I already told the medics at the fort. I... I don't know how it happened. You've been poisoned by radiation from a stolen Republic bomb. What? You mean... Jawler, do you know anything about this? Quiet, Zack. We don't know anything about... Uh, anything. They're the reason we're both sick! Aren't they? You're dying because of them! Zack, don't. You ruin everything. The movement... The movement sold us out! They don't care about us! They just care about their weapons and their secrets! No. I'll never betray the movement. Never. The movement got you into this mess. Why would you defend them? Jawler, they aren't worth dying for. Think of me. I love you. If you love me, Zack, 
You won't betray everything I stand for. Please let me go. Please, Jaller. No! Use this injector. It will cure your radiation poisoning. Both of you. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. No, Zack. Not worth... Shh. You're going to be okay now. I'm not going to lose you, Jaller. I'm not. You've saved us, soldier. You've saved Jaller. I owe you everything. All I ask is that you tell me where the ZR-57 is. Oh, right. The... the crate. Jaller and I helped move this really big crate. We got sick right afterward. I'm sure it's what you're looking for. We dropped the crate off at the Stronghold. It's the Separatists' main base. This is a second chance. Make the most of it. We will. I can promise you that. Come in, Sergeant. I copied everything. Sounds like we're gonna be hitting the Separatists where they live. Good work. Just doing my duty. I hope you're ready for this. The Mountain Stronghold is the Separatists' most fortified position on the entire island. Getting in there won't be easy. I put out the call. Havoc is assembling immediately, so get back here on the double. I can't wait to take those Seps down once and for all. You and me both, Sergeant. The Brent House Star is under my protection. Our convoy was ambushed and I sent the Star ahead. We will reunite. I just crippled three Imperial Dreadnoughts. I don't wish to destroy you. The peace between Republic and Empire is fragile enough already. Tell the Brentel Star to hand over the General. No one needs to be hurt. The General has a role to play with the Republic. Incidents like this are happening across the galaxy, but only because we let them. Leave the Brentel Star to me. If you don't, then may the Force be with you. Because the men and women aboard that ship can hold you off until we arrive. And you will be defeated. Do I have to kill you to get you to stop talking? You've made yourself clear. But I suggest you prepare to face a Jedi. And you may want to consider what that means. Entering fighter range. The Brentel Star is launching its first squadron. All right. Now we're close enough to fly in and send a raiding party. I assume you're going. Whatever's necessary to finish this. We'll be awaiting your successful return. I advise that you proceed to the Shadow Bay. The flight to the Brentall Star may be hazardous, but Grand Moth Kilran has complete faith in your abilities. It, but you did. The security doors around the bridge have opened. The Force was with me as usual. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't been aboard. Probably locked in an Imperial prison, or worse. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though. And that's no small challenge. What do you know about Iron Fist? I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. The Force will give me the strength I need. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy! This is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's get busy right away. Good luck. Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Strange view of the situation. Guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work. <laughs> Go ahead, then. Kill me. 
First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. If this is what must be done to save the people on this ship, then I'll do it. I knew we could count on you. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. Hmm. We need every advantage we can get. It will be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hey, hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. Sacrificing innocent people is wrong, no matter the reason. You stood up for the lives of my crew, and risked your own instead. I won't forget that. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. You want me to hand the Ambassador over to the Imperials, don't you? Yes. For the sake of us all, I want you to leave Asara behind on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape, but Kilrin will just chase us down again, unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. I didn't sacrifice the engineers to get us out of this. I won't sacrifice Asara either. Just think about it. I'd even make it worth your while if things go the way I'm suggesting. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck. You must be here for my husband. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. Yeah, I could eat. You got any bantha milk to wash it down with? Of course. Help yourself, dearie. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie. These rhodian peppers won't cook themselves. Don't, don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Listen, do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? I'm betting you're completely insane. Insane? What? How, how dare you? Oh, now I'm smelling Bakuran cloudberries. By the stars, those, those would taste awful in a Alderanian stew. Hmm, I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? You've inhaled a lot of chemicals, haven't you? Did my wife tell you that? She's been dead 20 years now. Don't listen to her. People haven't had much luck getting my chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnaught assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Ugnaught assassins? Don't you mean separatists? Who do you really think controls the separatists? Those crafty little swine, that's who. But we can beat them. What you really need is a precision teleporter, but a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Good luck, my friend. If you should explode, please feel free to come back and tell me all about it. Everyone else has. Oh, not so fast, Sergeant. You and me need to have a little talk. I'm Lieutenant Verk. I think maybe you heard of me. See, my boys here saw you having a chat with little Ensign Farn. I know Farn told you about my business, and I know you went and blabbed about it to some very important people. And now, I got a mountain of paperwork to do, hearings to go to, people asking questions, and I don't like that. Not everyone on Ord Mantell is interested in making you happy. Maybe not everyone cares, but the ones who want to make it home someday sure do. Wise up. This island is my little kingdom. I can make sure people live, and I can make sure they die. So you better believe that I'm going to make extra sure you come home from your next assignment in a box, Sergeant. 
We could settle this right here, Verk. Or are you afraid of me? Afraid? I ain't afraid of you. If you want to die so bad, then let's make it happen. Lock and load, boys. We're taking this punk down. Whoa, boss. Are you sure? I mean, we're right in the middle of the fort. Someone might hear. So turn on the sonic damper field. That's what we got it for. And somebody shoot this punk. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, Sergeant. Welcome back. Grab yourself a seat. You're going to be observing the op here with me. I take it the rest of my squad is already in the field. Havoc Squad is infiltrating the Separatist stronghold to retrieve the ZR-57 as we speak. Commander Tavis was very clear. Under no circumstances can I send you in to join Havoc on this mission. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I honestly thought you were starting to come along, but I guess Tavis still isn't convinced you're ready for the big time. I trust Commander Tavis' judgment. Maybe next time, Sergeant. I'm sure... Lieutenant, sir! We've got a situation here! Talk to me, Ensign. What's going on? We've lost contact with Havoc Squad, sir. Comms, video locators, everything. It's like they've disappeared completely. That's unacceptable, soldier. You get back to that terminal, and you get me Havoc status. Now. Yes, sir. Send me in, Lieutenant. They may need assistance. It'd be breaking Tavis's orders, but if it comes to that... Still no signal from Havoc Squad, sir. I think we may have lost them. All right, listen up, people. This mission will not fail on my watch. We are not going to let that bomb get away again. Infiltrating that stronghold is a mission only Havoc Squad can pull off. Lucky for us, we have one Havoc Trooper left. Sergeant, you're going in there. The ZR-57 must not remain in Separatist hands. Is that clear, Sergeant? Yes, sir. We were hoping to get the bomb back intact, but we're way south of a best-case scenario here. So here's the new plan. We have the activation code for the ZR-57. We disarm the bomb, leaving the Seps with nothing but a big, radioactive paperweight. You'll have to hijack the Separatist's comm system to broadcast the code. This data spike should do the trick. I never thought it'd come to this, Sergeant. I don't need to tell you what happens if you don't pull this off. I've never failed a mission before, and I'm not gonna start today. That's what I like to hear. You have the coordinates for the Separatist stronghold. I'm sure you can guess how much security they're likely to have. Breach the perimeter, use the data spike on the comm terminal, and shut the ZR-57 down for good. Thousands of lives are on the line, Sergeant. We're counting on you. Good luck, Sergeant. Easy does it. I've got a storage unit here to stabilize the canister so it doesn't blow. There we go. That's something you'll want to handle real careful like. Don't worry. This canister's safer than a senator's daughter in a room full of Jedi. Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our necks, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. How about a little something extra for all my hard work? Sure, why not? I like you, kid, I really do. Buy yourself something fancy to kill Skavik with. I've got good news and great news, Captain. We cracked the Separatist computer files and found Skavik. Vidu, you promised you wouldn't get so excited. It isn't good for your heart. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but this is going to be great! Skavik won't even see us coming! Ha! Does Skavik still have my starship? Your ship and the blasters. Great, huh? We'll get back everything he stole all at once. Skavik is taking the blasters to the Separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. Skavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darek at the base. You need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? You're about to see a real live hero in action. Make that two heroes. I'm not sending you alone. Take Corso with you, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Skavik payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. I never had a sidekick before. Yeah, me neither. Then it's a deal. You two head for the Separatist base, kill Darek, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. I'm just looking forward to getting back into space. I'd wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece.
You did it, Sergeant. That was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. Thank you, sir. Looks like we've got a whole new problem. Not all of those guards you killed were Seps. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so Command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. If my squad mates are here, I will bring them home. Good luck, Sergeant. You worthless criminal vermin. How dare you invade my fortress and murder my courageous brothers in arms! Your pal Skavik stole my freighter. I want it back. There's no ship here for you. Only death. You are guilty of crimes against the oppressed people of Ord Mantell. The sentence is death. Memorize our faces well, you criminal filth, for we are your righteous executioners. Do you have any last words, degenerate swine? These won't be my last words. Let justice be served! I surrender! I surrender! Please! I don't want to die! I know why you're here, and you're wasting your time! I'm here for Skavik and my starship. Where are they? Skavik is long gone. He left here hours ago. Derek was stupid to fight you. He got everyone killed, when he should have just told you the truth. Skavik showed up a few hours ago to deliver the guns, but it was all a trick. He pretended to be on our side so he could steal some rusty antique droid from Derek. Skavik came here to steal a droid? Some worthless pile of scrap that had been in Derek's family for generations. That droid was ancient. It's practically useless. But Skavik grabbed it like some big treasure and blasted his way out. He left in your ship. I don't know where he went, but I can guess who does. Skavik has a girl at Fort Garnick named Cyrena. You'll forgive me if I don't take your word for it. It's true! Derek talked to her on the Hollow all the time with messages for Skavik. She was our main contact. It was Cyrena who warned us you were coming. If you want to find out where Skavik went, Cyrena's the one who knows. Please, let me go. I have a family back on the mainland. Please. Separatist scum killed my family, and I promised myself I'd bury every last one of you. I... I've only been here a few months. I didn't kill anyone's family. I only ever followed orders. Then I order you to die. You sure about this, Corso? The man seems sincere. Sincerity has nothing to do with it. Every one of these motherless scum deserves death. I can't just let him go home and pretend like nothing ever happened. Would your family want you executing people? My family were farmers, not soldiers. Please, I swear to you, I'll never serve a man like Derek again. I'll just go home and take care of my family. Get out of here before I change my mind. Thank you. Come on, Captain. We need to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Sirena. Sergeant, I thought my orders were very clear. You aren't supposed to be here. I will take her. No, Wraith. The Sergeant deserves to know the truth. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I harbor no ill will toward you. You're everything a warrior should be. I'm afraid the Republic no longer values her warriors, even the very best among them. You have fought the Empire for years. Do you really think things are better over there? The Empire respects warriors, Sergeant. The Republic's top officials, on the other hand, have decided to cast us aside. The truth is that no matter what they may say, the Republic Senate doesn't actually believe it can win another war against the Empire. That makes you and I a threat. Every Havoc Squad victory fires up people's imaginations. It fills them with pride, which means the bureaucrats can't afford to let us keep succeeding. How is the outright tyranny of the Empire any better? If only you'd been with us longer, Sergeant. You would understand. You might even have come with us. The Republic abandoned us. During a mission on Ando Prime, they simply left us to die. But I won't try to persuade you. Honestly, I hope you die with your ideals intact. The rest of us will never have that luxury. I would never become a traitor like you, Davis. Yes, I suspected as much. Oh, uh, by the way, good work finding the ZR-57 for us. We were starting to worry that the Separatists might, you know, 
waste our big present for the Empire. But thanks to you, we can now present the Empire with this magnificent tool of destruction. The Imperials won't be very impressed once they realize the bomb is neutralized. A clever bluff, Sergeant, but it won't help you. We'd better get a move on, boss. If we don't break Atmo in the next few minutes, every gun in the sky will have a clear shot on us. Time we were off. Colonel Vor, please give this sergeant the warrior's death she deserves. Go ahead and run. Someone's gonna catch you eventually. It's been an honor serving with you, sergeant. Goodbye. With all due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in infantry command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to swing, and the powers that be say it's you. I guess word of the defection is traveling fast. Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. I'm General Vander, the Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Lieutenant. Congratulations. I'm honored. Now, Lieutenant, as the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. We're gonna have a lot of fun together, Sergeant Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis' face before we kill him. This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. You're a good man, and we need good people now more than ever. I don't know what Tavis is planning, but he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. Have we been able to get a fix on where the traitors are heading? Unfortunately, no. They slipped off-world before we could mobilize to track them. You'll have to hunt them down, Lieutenant. I hope you're prepared. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shuttle prepped and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. Understood, sir. You better get to your shovel. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. I, I can't believe you fried Vito, sweetheart. So what if he caught you talking to Separatists? He threatened to turn me into Rogan the Butcher. I had to kill him. Besides, now we can finally be together. Yeah. And the thing is, my cargo hold is full and... Yeah, I'm busy with work. I'll call you sometime, though. I promise. What are you talking about? You promised to get me out of here. I've done everything for you, Skavik! You did it for the money. Same as me. The only difference is, you're not actually getting paid. I'll see you around, island. <clears throat> Captain, I... I didn't see you come in. It's wonderful you're still alive. How long have you been back? Your friends in the secret base ratted you out. I should have known those halfwits wouldn't kill you. No use pretending, then. Skavik used me just like he did everyone else. That man could charm the armor off a Mandalorian. Rogan the Butcher's bounty hunters are on their way right now. We don't want to be here when they arrive. Skavik took your ship and the guns to Coruscant. If you go now, he won't know you're coming for him. How do I get all the way to Coruscant without a ship? You don't need your own starship to leave Ord Mantell. Not anymore. The Separatists are retreating from this island, thanks to you. And the Republic just reopened the shuttle port. I'll give you a shuttle pass to Coruscant if you let me disappear. Do we have a deal? That won't pay my expenses. I need credits. Naturally. I always keep some money handy for moments like this. Take all of it. I knew you'd see things my way. I'm glad we could be reasonable about things. Here's that shuttle pass, too. When you find Skavik, tell him... Tell him I had no choice, alright? 
Goodbye, Captain. Glad that ended peacefully. I'm not one to hurt women. No good would have come of it. I'm not letting her off for killing Vito. I'll spread the word about what she did. Poor old Vito. I wish she could hear what we did. Would have put a smile on his face. It's not healthy for us to stick around, Captain. I believe what Sirena said about bounty hunters coming. We don't know how long Skavik will stay on Coruscant either. Let's hop a shuttle and catch him while we can. You're planning to tag along? I'm not bailing on you now, Captain. Besides, my Torchy still needs rescuing. Vito left me some stuff. I expect he'd want me to share it with you. Let's head for the shuttle board. We'll be off this planet before you know it. Anquas nimni mata sumri for papocha will be. I'm sick of being cooped up on starships, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Bis gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat yachavopa. I'll be sure to call Rogan sometime. Tell him I said hello. Chachak. Pochako la chano gando do waletapa. Bis gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat yachavopa. How much would it cost for you to forget you ever saw me? Sorry, I only travel first class. Choto pa, slimo gusha skroni. Jo ping wam palahagwa, je koska um pasa dobiska. But I'm glad you didn't. Where this came from? 